Guys, what's going on? It's brass tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. And look what we have here. Fantastic beasts. Now, I know I'm late, but I didn't get this uh, 4K Blu-ray till yesterday. And my boys over at Spare Change already done reviewed this bitch. So, you got to make sure you check them out. But, I thought I'd give my opinion on it. The first thing I will say is, I'm not going to talk about the movie. All I will say is, it's decent. Uh, a lot of people who didn't like Harry Potter like this one. So, I would definitely check it out. I find it... I liked it. I liked it. I, I felt slightly a bit more mature uh, than the, the Harry Potter movies, but everyone can watch it. It's thematically still the same kind of movie in this speech, but I, pref I definitely prefer this to Harry Potter. That's what I'm going to say. Secondly, I've seen the 3D of this. God damn, the 3D of this is A1 in this speech. A1. Top 5 uh, 3D transfers of all time in my opinion uh the pop out is amazing the depth is amazing uh it's a really good transfer really good 3d transfer now let's talk about this let's talk about the tech specs in this bitch shot in 3.4k digital intermediate 4k visual effects 2k dolby atmos sound so there you go people there you go how's the movie stuck up in this bitch Let's have a quick look at this first. See, I don't understand. You've got the 1080p Blu-ray there that's got the title, and you've got the 4K disc here, which just says movie in this bitch. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Fuck it. Anyway. I was expecting, and I have read some reviews on this, I was expecting reference quality. I was. What I got was a decent update. Uh, a decent uptick, a decent upgrade, so to speak. It's an upgrade from the 1080p. It's sharper, for sure. You know, it's wrinkles, hair, uh, a bit of everything. You definitely notice the added detail. The colour is also slightly wider, so you do notice the extra colour space. The HDR is good to fantastic in parts, especially some of the indoor scenes. HDR really stands out. And I think the climax of this movie was actually shot at night, so black levels are very important, and it does a very good job with the black levels as well. There is no loss of detail in those parts. There is a, a, a minimal amount of grain over the movie, but it's not distracting at all. Like I said, I was expecting reference quality. I didn't get reference quality. It is an uptick. It's, not, it's, it's subtle in some parts. In some parts, it is quite noticeable. But is it going to be in your top 10? No. Is it a very good transfer? It's a good transfer. It just it, Some people may watch it and it's not going to blow you away. Sure, there's some standout moments in this which are going to look very nice. But I'm a little bit disappointed with it, to be honest. I was expecting more. That's not to say it's not a good transfer. It's just to say my expectations were quite high for this one. Just based on what I've read and everything. Now... I'll be very surprised if there's anyone out there who's going to say it's reference quality. I would be surprised because to me it isn't. It's a nice filmic upgrade, but that's pretty much a, about it. Uh, secondly, secondly, shit, I've already made so many points. What am I saying? Another point is the CGI. Hmm. The CGI on this, there is a, obviously it's a Harry Potter movie, so there is, well, a Harry Potter-esque movie. It's a spin-off in this bitch, but... The CGI, there's a lot of it, and some of it looks suspect. Some of it looks obviously like CGI. So, because of the upscale, you know it's going to highlight these imperfections. And it does highlight quite a few imperfections on the C CGI front, for sure. So that's something else that you need to bear in mind. Overall, it is the best looking version in terms of resolution. It's the best version of the movie. It's the most detailed version of the movie you can get. I prefer the 3D version of this. The 3D version stellar and it was just more engrossing, more... Uh, you just felt you were really there. I mean, you really do feel... It's very immersive, the 3D version. And picture quality owns resolution, in my opinion. And if you don't like 3D, then it's a no-brainer. This is the version to get if you don't like 3D. But I prefer the 3D version... I think the 3D version is amazing, but there's nothing wrong with this transfer at all. It's a good transfer. It's just not great, in my opinion. And that's pretty much it, guys. I should have the laptop 
uh, back uh, at uh, towards the end of the week and we'll get back to normally scheduled programming. But until then, hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time.